What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel again. I am Kyle at Limitless Power Sports Service and Repair. Uh, <clears throat> what we got going on, I'm actually getting out of my little dungeon of a shop and I'm building one on my property here. Uh, it's gonna be about 800 square feet. Actually, it's like 720 uh, after all said and done. It's just a little 24 by 30, uh, 12 foot walls. Plan is to put a two post lift in there on the one side. I have both my motorcycle lifts on the other side, a little bit of storage. And then that way I can get me uh, my tire machine, balancer stuff's all set up, uh, welding station, all that good stuff I need for all that. So basically what it's gonna be, it's just gonna be up here in this top part of my yard. I'm on three acres out here in uh, Ozark, Missouri. So you guys can see a poster staked off there, over there, over here and over here. Uh, it's my neighbor's house. We're not gonna block any of their view, but I'm gonna end up building a driveway eventually that comes up around this way and comes up right here in front of the shop. Uh, they're gonna start bringing steel and equipment in tomorrow to start digging the foundations, or the footings I should say, and laying out the work and compacting everything. So it should be pretty nice. Uh, I ended up having to move my kids trampoline further back there, uh, but like I said, it's gonna make a nice way to come up here. I don't have to go anywhere to work on anything. I can just work from home. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit nicer with all the traveling I do with the race team and all that, and have a little more space, a little better setup, and I won't have such a low ceiling to work in, and so that way I won't have any overhead. So tomorrow, like I said, steel and uh, conc not concrete, but equipment's gonna be here for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, record all that, uh, them digging that out, talk to Jimmy, my contractor, who's like the first concrete guy in a year and a half that actually came back and gave me an actual bid. Had a couple guys stop, come out and say, yeah, 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 and never get back to me. But Jimmy was the first guy who actually gave me a bid. As soon as he gave me a bid, I'm like, let's do this. Uh, I, it is, I did get my building through Allen's Factory Direct. Uh, built, uh, built it on their little simulator myself. It is a part of Carolina Carports. They will come out and install it after I get pictures of the foundation all set up. You know, I had to get stuff for the county and all that good stuff. Uh, wasn't very expensive, $172, I think is what it was for my permits and everything. Then we got to run electric and we're gonna run water to it, but it's just gonna be no internal water. It's just gonna have water on the outside for a spigot, uh, for a pressure washer and all that. Uh, and we'll just kind of run through different uh, phases of the build, uh, the lighting, the uh, electrical, which is part of lighting uh, and water and blah, 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 so on and so forth, concrete, the building going up, we'll time lapse all that stuff. So stay tuned for those videos, guys. All right, so I got a call from my contractor. Steel finally showed up. Not a whole bunch because the building's not big, but there is the uh, rebar and the mesh. So things are starting to roll. He showed up this morning, directed him back here to the back to where to drop it at to give the contractor some room so he has room to work back here, do some dirt work. He's gonna be here about noon today. Uh, he's getting the, uh, I guess the skid steer or the little, uh, oh geez, my brain ain't working. But anyways, uh, whatever other equipment he needs to start digging the footers. And he's gonna square this all up with the house so it stays square and then uh, start digging the footers in here. I think it's 18 inches deep it's gotta be. Hopefully don't run any issues with rocks. I don't feel like paying more money to rent more equipment. So hopefully this afternoon, this evening, we'll have that dug, compacted, and uh, gravel delivered. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep shooting little spots of this, keep you guys posted. I think of you I'm all 
All right, I don't have my mic on, but close enough so you can hear this. See the piles of dirt over there? Guys got done doing, the, making it uh, level. So now, next step on Saturday, coming back in, I think I already said it with the <coughs> uh, bucket, uh, bucket, whatever the hell, my brain ain't working. But anyways, go all around, dig the footing, get that ready to pour probably next week. And then a few days, I should say next week, but a few days. And then uh, get the inspector right here, inspect the footings. And then we're going to go ahead and get the slab ready to rock and roll. Basically, what's going to happen to the slab, we're going to have it drop two inches, make that slab just two inches shorter this way, have a little drop in it so the building actually sets down so water can't back itself into it. And we're going to have all the doors sloped off. So I got to give Carolina Carports a call and find out what the exact measurements are because all they gave me was generic plans. So uh we're gonna see what happens to that see if they give me the right stuff so that way we can get the door set up properly so there's no confusion when they get here to put the building up all right guys just want to let you know that i will not be here uh during the process of them digging the footings um i believe they're going to do that tomorrow uh, which is wednesday um, i fly out to new jersey for a race at new jersey motorsports park uh with the motor america team i'm with Warworth HSBK Racing. So I won't be here when they dig the footing to put all the stuff down for the, uh, all the metal and all that stuff. Uh, and then on Thursday, got an inspection coming. And then Friday, if everything goes right, the inspection on Friday, they're gonna come out and, here and pour the footers and the slab. So pretty excited about that. So I won't be able to get that on film. I do have my father-in-law stopping by. Gonna take a few pictures of during the process. So I'll add that. To the video so I'm gonna go ahead and put out this first part tonight for you guys and then as I get some pictures and then when Carolina carport does come install the carport I'll record that and probably end up doing that in uh, a time-lapse and then take you guys on a little tour of the building and my ideas for the building and then uh, we'll show you how to run a trench um, and wire it up it's gonna be my first time doing that so uh, we'll take care of that and uh, I'll give you guys a little holler later all right 